Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I tried out a couple of different e.l.f. products that I've been eager to try out. Um, some are a little bit more viral that I really really wanted to test out. But yeah, I think my face and eyes look amazing. So I found some really cool products. So make sure to check out this video. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you could, please. Alrighty guys, so I have been anxiously waiting to film this video because I have seen so many amazing things, especially about the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I have heard just amazing things, especially around TikTok, about this product. And so I figured I'd pick up a couple other e.l.f. products that I could get my hands on to. Um, wasn't easy to find a lot of e.l.f. products because a lot of them, when you go to the store, are sold out. Probably because they're so affordable and such high demand, but I did pick up a couple things and I just wanted to try them out on camera with you guys. Okay, so here is the e.l.f. CC Cream. It says it's a color correcting full coverage natural finish skin loving ingredients collagen peptides and niacinamide um yeah broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen so like i said i've heard only amazing things about this product so yeah, so i really did see that it's very full coverage so we're gonna put that to the test i usually don't use a foundation brush it says on the back of here to use the elf foundation brush but i'm just going to use my sponge because that's what i like to apply my foundation with to get the best results and the results that i usually have the best luck with so this is not a new product but i'm going to use it since it is an elf product this is the elf poreless putty primer pretty good stuff I do forget to use it a lot of the time so because I have like a million primers but I definitely do like this primer um went viral for a little bit there too over on TikTok but I had already owned it and yeah I do like this primer it does do a good job at just kind of smoothing your face out and making sure it's ready for foundation okay I got the shade light 240 W warm with golden undertones so hope the shade pretty much works packaging is really cute has a pump so easy for application um it says to take one to two pumps so i guess that's what i'll do i don't know how much i'll necessarily need but it looks pretty thick so let's go ahead and try this out i guess i could actually try to use a foundation brush for you guys but i'm going to do sponge on one side foundation brush on the other side um, and then if I don't like how it looks with the brush, I'm just going to smooth it over with the sponge. But let's go ahead and see. It's definitely not even sliding off my hand, so it's definitely pretty thick. I heard this is in comparison to the It Cosmetics um, CC Cream. Uh, that one works okay on my skin. It's really not the best, but I used to love it because it did have sunscreen in it. But let's go ahead and try this out. shade is a bit off but this was kind of the only lighter shade that I could find at the time okay so coverage is really nice you can see one side versus the other really nice coverage I'm just gonna blend it down my neck because it's a little dark but but yeah that definitely did cover up a lot on my skin which is kind of nice and it has SPF which a lot of products that do have SPF are very um, sheer coverage, so this is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to take my foundation brush on the other side here. See if it makes any difference. Definitely a lot more full coverage, but I just don't like to see little brush marks on my face, so I am going to press it over with my sponge. I will definitely say that the brush I gives you that slight bit more of coverage where the sponge gives you a sheer dot coverage. Um, I still have a little product on my hand, so I'm just gonna use it to just kind of build up the side, but it's very, very full coverage. I will definitely say that. Okay, so that is the application with the CC cream. So Based on first impressions, like within five minutes of the product, I really do like it. I definitely think it's what it claims to be of being full coverage. It's definitely full coverage. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just have to see how well it wears. That'll be like the second thing because um, I know that It Cosmetics CC Cream on my skin personally doesn't wear the best, but maybe this one will. And 
oh my god if this was a dupe for the it cosmetics one this is so much cheaper um don't remember the exact price but the it cosmetics one is definitely like over 35 bucks and this was probably under 15 so i think this is amazing elf is definitely killing the game so yeah i definitely have to say that that's so far so good of a product oh i'm just gonna pop on my brows and then a little bit of bronzer and then we'll come back for some other elf products so i just popped on some cream products i popped on a cream bronzer which really isn't even a bronzer but it's not by elf it's by revolution it's just um a stick foundation which looks really tragic because it's really splattered out in there but whatever and uh for concealer i just use my ColourPop no filter concealer um i do have the elf concealers but i definitely don't like the way they set on my face i have the hydrating one and then also the regular elf concealer and i just they don't work for my face i i mean i know so many people love them but for my skin it just it just does not work out so I have not set my face at all because I have a cream blush by e.l.f. This is the putty blush in the shade Bali. Um, I've heard awesome, awesome things about this blush. So I am excited to try this one out and I was surprised to even find any of these blushes. There was a bright pink one and then there was this color one. So I just settled for this one. I've really been on a cream blush kick. So... I've been loving them and I've been just applying them with that same sponge. It's really dirty from the foundation and concealer and bronzer. Um, but I'm just going to dip my sponge right into here and it fits honestly perfect into this little blush thing. I possibly just picked up too much because I don't know how intense these are, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so I definitely picked up way too much i'm just gonna take the side without product and just blend out those edges definitely safe to say you don't need that much product on your brush or sponge and it says you can use your fingers too so cream blush can be pretty universal but oh my gosh my cheek looks so glossy i love love the first initial application here I'm definitely into cream blushes, especially for summertime because you don't have a bunch of powder on your skin. Um, yeah, I really do like them and it's going over really well on this foundation, which I would definitely hope since they're kind of probably created to be mixed together. So my skin looks really fresh and dewy. Love the application and I do actually like the color of the blush. Wasn't really sure, um, but it looks really nice. I definitely love it. And I don't know, the more I look at this foundation, the more it's a little bit full coverage for my liking. And I do like a full coverage. Um, so I'm not really sure. It definitely to me already looks a lot like the it cosmetic cc cream but maybe i'm just not a cc cream girl um but like i said the product looks really good on my skin it's just really full coverage okay so next we have a eyeshadow um palette and it's with the four um eyeshadows and i have a couple different one of these but this is from the melt melt collection it is in the shades chocolate mint which oh my gosh chocolate mint ice cream sounds really good right now um okay so you get some nice browns a shimmer and then a shimmery green shade which i will probably match to the green on this shirt here but uh yeah i definitely have only good things to say about these shadows they're less than five bucks and you can make great eyeshadow looks with these shades so i love that and they're perfect for just stuffing in your bag for traveling and stuff too so i'll just pick up the lightest brown shade which actually might not work as a transition shade but we're just gonna try to blend that out so it is i already primed my eyes with some eyeshadow primer i think i want to take this shimmery shade pretty much all over the lid um i'm gonna use my finger to apply it and this looks really nice and intense even if you just use the two brown shades and the glittery color, um, you could probably come up with a really good, easy, basic eye look. Okay, that is awesome, awesome pigmentation right off of the first application. And I'm just blending out those edges with that same brush and lightest brown shade. 
And then I'm going to take the darkest shade and put that on the outer edges of my eye. Well, really easy, basic eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, you can just probably build one certain type of look, but um, if you just wanted something easy and you don't want a huge palette, this is great. Like I said, the eyeshadow palette with the four shades in it is great for just having in your collection. If you just don't want to pack a bunch of makeup with you and you just want to have, you know, maybe something on hand or maybe, you know, I don't know if you go out or something and you want to just pack like a little eyeshadow duo with you. I'm just going to do the underneath of my eyes as well with those same shades. And then, yeah, I'm going to pop a little bit of the green in my inner corner. So I'm just taking the darker brown shade and then smudging that on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to line my lower lash line with some eyeliner. This is just a brown eyeliner. You can take any brown eyeliner you have. And I'm just going to use the shade Earthquake. These eyeliners are bougie and expensive, but they really do last a long time on your eyes. And then just taking the lightest brown shade and smudging that on my lower lash line as well. Okay, so I am going to use the green shade on my inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna try using a brush because I feel like with my nails, it's not gonna let me get into my inner corner. But if it doesn't work with the brush, I'll try to use my finger, but it has a lot of pigmentation on the brush. Oh my gosh, yes, love that. So cute for a little pop of color. I'm just going to blend it a little bit onto the lash line, but not much. I just want this green to stand out. Um, yes, it sure does. You could have used this for a St. Patrick's all over the lid shade. Um, didn't get this in time for St. Patrick's Day, but this is a really awesome green color. Cool. Love that shade. I am just going to pop a little bit of mascara on my eyes and then we'll come back and I have one more product. It is a lip product. Okay, I applied some mascara and also some lip liner because my next product is actually a lip gloss, but I just applied my ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Beeper. And then I applied my Essence Mascara Lash Princess on my lashes, which love that mascara, obviously, if you didn't know. I am going to take this um, also mint product. It's called the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. It looks like a green gloss, but I'm sure it's just like a very clear gloss, maybe with like a little bit of green in it, but it's called A Hint of Mint. Oh my God, that name is so cute. A Hint of Mint. How cute is that? Um, but yeah, since it's a lip plumping gloss, I'm wondering if it's going to tingle a little bit or maybe not really. Um, we're just going to see. I only apply lip liner and I just wanted to try this product over on top of the lip liner. So it has like a basic lip gloss scent. Really nothing fancy, but I, it would be kind of cool if they made it taste like mint or smell like mint, but some people hate mint, so maybe not. Um, I feel a slight tingle in my lips, but really not much. Nothing like that lip injections one by Too Faced. Um, but yeah, that one tingles really bad. Actually, when I taste it, it does taste like mint, and it's actually a little bit burning my tongue now that I did that which was my fault, but uh, this lip gloss is really nice. So overall, I really like these products. Um, I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated on the foundation CC cream. I'm wondering if I should set certain parts of my face um, because I am wearing a mask to work today. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to transfer a lot. My guess is it probably would because it's still pretty tacky on my skin and it's been on for about like 45 minutes. Um, so maybe I just will set a little bit of my chin and stuff. Let me do that right on camera. I'm just going to take my Shein powder, She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder, which yes, I really do love this powder quite a lot. Um, pretty much like everything that I ordered for my Shein video. So I'm just going to take that and set maybe just like my chin. So it's set down decent. 
I don't know if I should have set it, but it set down pretty well. It did make it more matte, um, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm only putting just a little bit around my face here. I don't want to set it too much, but in case you are somebody that sets it, this is kind of a good indicator how it's going to work. It took away a lot of the dewiness on the chin and stuff, but I think it looks still pretty good. I think it worked out really well. I'm going to pop in maybe a couple check-ins of my skin throughout the day and see how well the CC cream wears. But other than that, um, I have to rate everything pretty high. Uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of have to see how it ends up wearing. But so far, I really like everything that I tried out. Okay, here is the makeup and natural lighting. I think it looks really good. My skin looks super pretty, healthy. Um, love it. Uh, yeah, I definitely love how this makeup look looks. And uh, yeah, um, it's only been on like an hour or two. But I will try to check in in a little later to see how the makeup is wearing up but i really like it and it did a great job of covering up blemishes as well the cc cream did and yeah i really like that and just in general the lipstick the blush oh not lipstick the lip gloss and the blush and the eyeshadow i love it so yeah just want to give that little update Alrighty guys, so i just got home from work and this has been my makeup on for about eight hours or so so it's looking a little bit tragic right now with the mask and stuff it's really rubbed off but um if you look forehead up it looks really good my foundation looks amazing so i would say that the cc cream wouldn't necessarily be like the best like long wearing one but i definitely feel like it um it's a really pretty foundation so cc cream whatever you want to call it I think it looks really good and I got a lot of compliments on my skin today so I guess that's always a good sign but um yeah I think it looks pretty decent and I'm going to continue wearing it and trying it but other than that the makeup was gorgeous um the lips lip gloss ended up wearing off obviously but um I really enjoyed that too so everything worked out really well the blush is off because my cheeks were smashed in a claw freaking mask but whatever um but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe